Welcome, Kevin. Great to have you on here. Uh, I, I think that you spelled winner wrong, though, in your name. It's just, it's a social loser survivor. Oh, it's the way it came out. It's the way I felt, you know. So, it was like autocorrect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like even the autocorrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, text message like issues. Like I, I, you know, it happens. I, I've, I've been there. It seems like you have some issues with writing because you wrote down Bailey's name this episode, but she's <laughs> not not eligible to receive votes. I'm pretty sure. You know, did I consider that at the time or no? <laughs> it's too long ago to think about, but you know, it it got people laughing at the end, and yeah, you know, that's that's all I wanted. That's all you can ask <laughs> that was for. the perfect way, like for for you to go out was by like writing down. Like <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Like it has never happened before. And like any CBS season or college season, like writing down the name of the person that has individual immunity. <laughs> like, that's like so ridiculous. That's so no, funny. It and it's also like continuing the bit of like, let's keep on voting on my allies. And the one I would it's never true. write down is Bailey at the end of it all. So <laughs> finally did. Finally Damn. did. That's funny. Well, so I guess like coming into All Stars, you were already a huge character in season two. Coming into All Stars, like what what was kind of your, like your prerogative? Like, did you want to play the same game? Want to be the same character? Up your character? Yeah, I don't think I wanted to go into the season the way I did with all the history, because uh, the issue also like was when All Stars was coming out, season two was coming out, and then you know seeing myself play again, I was just like reeling back into the whole chaotic scheme of things, and then. Uh, also, like 4.5, if you listen to that podcast about Dear yeah. Kevin Hansen, you know, I threw my game out there. So I feel like I just had to keep with the bit um, pretty early on into the game. I think maybe a week or two in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it probably wasn't the best thing for you to, like, have season two going at the same time to really, like, see that every week on youtube you know and be like oh that's the that's the edited version of kevin you know i gotta i gotta live up to that you know yeah it's just uh th there's a basis to it and it's either like do i have do i want to do the story of like improving and becoming a better player mm -hmm. i feel like that bit's been done too much there needed to be some you know <laughs> diversity into the season and who was coming in and uh, yeah like maryland all-stars already did that so yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they got the strategy and now you need yeah. the characters that's mm -hmm. that's what survivor mission will bring to you <laughs> well exactly like you don't want to come on and just like be you will and just like be status quo be like a, a boring presence or be not on the season like you want to like make an impression on all-stars and i feel like you came in and you were like i'm like i know this is a tv show this is for fun like i'm just gonna like I'm going to play the game that I want to play and have a good time. With it. And you definitely did. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I had so much fun playing this, just playing yeah. the same way I did breaking people's hearts, you know, <laughs> seeing Cooper cry. You know, I think that's, that's how I see I've won the season, right? Not, not making it all the way. That's true. You had like your over under like how many people can I make cry this season? Like I need to get over that number. You know, I have, a, I have a bet placed on this. It's gotta Wait, be at least what, two. What number? What was it at the end of the day? It was Will, Bailey kind of cried. Did Bailey cry? Probably. Well, Maybe. a little bit when she was like just sad. Probably at least three then. At mm -hmm. least three, you know. Three, okay. Yeah, I was kind of mean to Emily B at some point, right? True. Maybe uh, maybe true. that never made the edit. Uh, I feel like Adam would have cried by association at one point, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see it. I could see it. The yeah, audience was crying when, when you left, so, you know. That's a lot uh, of people. I've, yeah. Hmm. Tell I'm us sure about Emily B. What are, what are your thoughts on Emily B? Like, what, what what was all this Emily B vitriol about? Oh, I think, like, just how like I perceive the game, or like that's how far I went. Right, is just like I I have this belief of how I think the game is going to go. Right, and obviously I want to shape it up to keep things interesting, and you know, the resources available to me, knowing you know how I was in the game, not being very trustful, it just uh. The vitriol came for like inaction when there was like opportunity, mm. if anything, right? And I think it's like I saw Emily B in the 4.5 season, and like the one thing that like didn't help her win, right, was kind of existing, is how I put it, right? She she exists yeah. and like she participates in. Is she playing a better game? Arguably, yeah. But uh, 
I don't know. I said it twice. Like you kind of look like you're sad and depressed while playing the game, and uh, I just don't see how like you would be a good indication of like a good All Stars winner. At least, at least in the game. Great person, but <laughs> yeah. Does, does watching the back seem like her her confessionals change your opinion on that or no? Uh, I think I agree that. Yeah, this was not the week that, you know, you should be listening to my plan. Uh, and, like, like seeing how, like, her confessionals are playing out, I was like, yeah, yeah, no, she's got, there's credibility there. But, like, for me, right, um, the winner I want to see in, like, a real show or um, a Survivor College season, right, is somebody, you know, pulling all the strings okay. and being either overly obvious about it or subtle and amazed whenever, like, a final tribal council happens. And... I don't know. It was hard to see that path with Emily B, but knowing that she may or may not have the idol, whether, you know, whatever happens, happens. And yeah. So you like definitely don't have that idol, right? 100%. Like, for sure, for sure. For sure you didn't have that idol. Dangling. Yeah. <laughs> you and you were jangling the keys. <laughs> I hope some people jumped a little bit. Like I hope some people thought for a second, like, oh shit. I'm still a little suspicious, Kevin. Like maybe you've been hiding it, like it's still in your pocket. It's in that couch behind you in, in Washington, DC. Like it, you oh, know, yeah. it, you never really know. You're such a wild card. It's like it's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, three years later and I play it like through the television, right? I actually have it. Gotta recon the season. Let's let's let's, let's re edit this stuff. Kevin actually <laughs> did have it. Uh I was close though. I was really close in some points no, because like one of my favorite parts about Survivor is not the strategy, but it's the finding the needle in a haystack with an idol. And <laughs> it never makes an edit, right? But I spent hours on North campus, you know, looking for that idol. I got caught looking in um, East Quad by Jesse. I got caught by Megan at one point. Uh, I was really trying to like dig in and find those because like my perspective was I was definitely going to need one. Mm -hmm. at some point and it just uh never fell into my cards also getting sick you know <laughs> getting yeah, sick yeah. kind of inhibited that uh idol search maybe because i did it too much <laughs> I mean, random question on the idol stuff like if you did have an idol at that tribal council like the double tribal council you know where where adam comes to you and he's mm -hmm. like hey if you have an idol like let's both play idols let's mix up the game like would you have given an idol to jackson I think yes, because I really was dug deep into this, you know, fake world of the axis of evil that I could yeah. rely on Jackson, mostly because of my relationship with Megan, um, which was not really there in the edit, but, you know, from my perspective, we talked a lot more or, than other people in the game at that point. And so, you know, knowing me at the time, I probably would have done it. And not just like, to see like chaos ensue, but actually to guarantee and reach one of my goals and getting Cooper out, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, so let's say that like there's two idols played. Cooper is one of the people that goes home. Who do you who would you have wanted the second person to be at, to go home with that tribal? Ooh, good question. I've never really thought about that, but if anybody, probably Leia. Mm. You know, she she had a vendetta for me and never really trusted me throughout the whole game never really, you know, pushed for a relationship with me for obvious reasons. Um, so it wouldn't really make sense, you know, if I didn't want her out because it was like a dual parallel relationship, you know. At least what I'm seeing in the edit is, you know, we're the antithesis to each other where one is like going fully loyal, right? Yeah. And one does not give a shit about it. Mm -hmm. So it makes yeah. sense. That would be crazy. Your... Sorry. Go ahead, Leia. Sorry, Sarah. Are you just calling Leia? <laughs> I, Leia. Yeah. Leia's on the break. I'm just like Leia yeah. writing down Leia. Like Leia writing mm -hmm. yeah. Forget about it. So go ahead. I was just going to say, what made, why was your goal to get out Cooper and Sam? Was it just like you didn't like them in their original seasons or? Uh, I mean, like the confession was give it best. I really had no reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think just because, you know, like my, how I conceptually brought about about it was knowing that Sam was coming back for like a fifth semester, it would be like such a great thing to like break his heart <laughs> and get him voted out before the merge, right? And yeah. then for Cooper, uh, I mean, he was the face of Survivor Michigan as a host for like three right. seasons. And so 
I thought it would be funny if you vote the host up before the merge, if mm. at all. Yeah, yeah, just like maximum heartbreakage. You know? <laughs> yeah. like, just, like, what, is the, what is the most heartbreak I can possibly do? Like, that is mm-hmm. my goal. <laughs> Yeah. So close, one vote away from from the Cooper one at least. Also, and Cooper would have been 14th place, which is a multiple of seventh place. <laughs> That's not fast enough. Would have been so poetic. It would have been. He would yeah. have never. He would have never heard the end of that one. <laughs> oh God, yeah, no, that guy. I don't know if he'd still be around. He'd be too embarrassed. <laughs> It'd be tough. And yeah, I mean, I had somewhat of a role in that Megan vote against you that one week right for the uh who went home um the dylan one yeah the dylan vote what was your role in the, that week yes i so i met with like megan twice and like she i don't know if that's the week she caught me uh but a little bit after and you know i kind of did the spiel of condescendingness right that yeah. i did to emily b in saying that you know like sam is actually a threat and she didn't give me the context of like how the relationship broke about um, between you at that time. Um, but, you know, I, it was just another voice in her ear telling her this yeah. is the way you should vote. Um, that's interesting. I never knew that. I don't know if it got filmed, um, but I have it in a, there's a notes uh, document I was looking at actually the other day oh. in my drive. And it, uh, it mentioned that, I think. So. Do you have like a little diary going? <laughs> oh, yeah. The diary, I, I kind of I cringe at it right now because, uh, <laughs> you know, looking Where back on this. Season, yeah, the ideas and the manakai or like yeah, manicness was uh, it was something. <laughs> Looking back on it. Do you want to read any uh, excerpts from it? Yeah. Anything, anything yeah. stick out to you? Let's see. I should have highlighted some. <laughs> if I from the Kevin really Man. See, we've heard so much about Leia's Leia's list and like Leia's uh. Right. From- her, pa- her paper she's writing, or her thesis. Like, wow, mm-hmm. we haven't heard the Kevin Manifesto. Yeah, yeah. The, there's the a Kevin, Kevin Manifesto. Manifesto that's existed all this time. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, from the Fear Punk Challenge, there's all the fucking idol clues get let out of the world. Search and ruin my immune system significantly to no avail. That's a good one. Do I have anything about the will vote? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like the will vote. Uh, if we want to touch on that right now, because yeah. I feel like yeah. a lot of people have it's questions. like a big topic to talk yeah, about. Oh, I know. Because yeah. uh, like th- without like the whole Shakespearean, you know, chaoticness of like how that came about from both like me being who I am and then Will being who I am, who he is, right? Um, like the logic is not sound, um, but there was actual strategy from my perspective, at least into it, and and some people in the like audience did like catch into it. Yeah, Uh, because I believe one thing that was not missed in the show was um, Bailey wasn't actually the first person I came to this uh, information about trying to flip onto yellow. Um, It was Crouch, actually. The first conversation with Crouch was, you know, telling him, you know, you're you're going to be out of the game probably. And um, that's like one part of my game. I'm kind of frank to your face uh, and don't really think about my words. (laughs) <laughs> but you know, I tell him the plan. I was like, I am considering it. And then the Bailey um, meeting happens overnight, which you know led into you know an hour or two of just like talking in a room. And then you know my mind is mingling and wants to do stuff. It's not going to settle and just like sit down and see what happens. Um, so you know, I just kind of threw out like, here's like how a flip for me is probably going to work. There's no way I'm going to be able to budge and get. Emily be out because you'll defend her. And if I start throwing that out, you're going to vote me out. If I start throwing out Leia's name, Cooper's going to just swing it back onto me. So unfortunately, like the reality of it is like I got to vote out my closest ally. Um, and the reasoning for that, at least from the doc, was um, I didn't really see Will and Emily having the social capital. I didn't know about you know your relationship with Will. That might have like construed things. Um, but Knowing that, you know, Will and Emily weren't, you know, the greatest um, with, like, who they knew in the game, at least from my perspective, compared to, you know, Cooper, Crouch, Bailey. Um, there was a lot of social capital there. So um, I thought it would have been a worthwhile investment if, like, they know, you know, the people on Yellow are going to trust me because I flipped for them. Uh, now did I expect Will to go 
as deep as he did trying to save his own game. Um, no, <laughs> um, it wasn't even supposed to be let out. Uh, but okay, you don't know when you make your decision. And I think the other aspect of that was, um, you know, I had a conversation with Megan and I heard about the Dylan vote and uh, hearing about that indecision, you know, of her not committing to the flip to vote you out just um, pushed on to me that if there's something I'm going to make in the game, either correct or incorrect, I'm going to follow through with it once I made my decision. And so I guess that's just like who I am as a person, right? Um, once you go forward, you don't go back, something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, anything else I want to add on to that? Oh, yeah. Um, so for me, I think it was like still very like up in the air on this commit to the flip. But then when it got spoiled, but also the spoiling of Jesse to Leia that resulted in the confrontation in the library with like the rest of my oh, yeah. tribe, right? Um, so I'm going into that blind thinking like, okay, we're going to flesh this out and we'll see where I want to vote if I want if I think I'm in a swing position. And that's not how that went. Um, the edit was only a little snippet of it, but it felt like a three hour conversation when it might have been 30 minutes because, you know, they're just grilling me on like, you know, what did you tell Andrew? What did you tell um, Bailey? I heard you're flipping on us. You're going to flip on us. I knew you were going to flip on us. And if like you're going to like who you thought was like, you know, a tri member and potential alliance member right in this four person vote. Um, and I feel like I'm getting attacked, um, even if it's true. Right. Um, I'm not really confident in wanting to stay and work with those people, even if one of them is, quote unquote, a very close ally on mine. Hmm. So, so you're saying at this point, before that meeting, did you feel like you were more in the middle then? Like, maybe, had you not fully settled on voting off Will yet? Yeah, before that meeting. I, I think it was still up in the air, basically, in, like, contingent on, like, how this meeting with, like, my former tribe mates went. Um, hmm. Yeah. And then, so you know, with Bailey, then you were kind of, so you might have like, well, you were telling Bailey, oh, hundred percent, like I'm with you, I'm flipping. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking like, maybe I won't though. Maybe I'm, I, I'm, I'm just saying this to Bailey to keep my options open. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with throwing things out? Um, yeah. But then when you're telling stuff to Bailey, you know, you should realize that it's going to go out into the rest of the world. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Yeah. See, that's interesting. I, See, the way that I it felt like in the episode and the way I always thought it was, was that like the moment you went to Bailey, you would fully decide like, I'm with you, Bailey, like mm -hmm. I'm voting off Will. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like you were more like, I'm going to tell Bailey what she wants to hear, but maybe I'm still deciding where I want to go. Yeah, no, definitely. I just wasn't ready for the repercussions that my old tribe was going to like go against me for because, you know, if, because uh, like you see it happen like in the season, except for me and maybe sometimes a few others, but you know, there is a rumor spinning about, about I'm flipping on my old tribe. And, you know, once the interrogation happened, it was kind of like, you know, no communication after that, right? Nobody was really investing on like keeping me and like, you know, telling me about information. It really just went blank. So I think. Like if they they don't really have to invest in me and they could have like even pushed for like the other people to flip for vote me out at that time. I just think uh, it kind of went about how I, I didn't expect it to come about the way it did in that, you know, my old tribe just said, you know, screw Kevin, he's gone, we want him out. Because um, I thought, you know, there was more ample opportunity for them to consider, well, you know, maybe we can reel him in, especially Will. Um, but, you know, I threw his name out, so... Man, it's it's a hard, complicated one in it. What would you say is like the biggest difference between the actual you and the Kevin you portray in the season? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, Bailey put it up pretty nice at the end there. You know, he was like, um, you know, trying to be, you know, cordial, friendly, wanting to hear about your life, seeing you be successful. Um, I am actually like, I like to think of myself as a sweetheart to some people. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, you know, I'm pretty, like, open in, like, you know, being a friend and all that fun stuff. I'm having a blast here in D.C. You know, I got I got a good group of boys over here. And um, the character Kevin was just, like, you know, an opportunity to, you know, do something that I'm not used to being, right? And that's being, you know, one of how I took it as, like, I'm on a reality TV show. 
let's be one of the worst human beings ever <laughs> and seeing how the audience reacts to it. I thought I was going to get like more of a, you know, I got my haters, but I was ex unexpectedly, I did not expect uh, all the, all the fans coming into this. Oh, the audience loved it. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I mean, it was hilarious. Yeah. Wait, I, I feel mean, like no, we, go ahead. We, we forgot to like catch up with you in the beginning. <laughs> Like what? Where? What have you been doing since All Stars? Oh yeah, we usually wrong. ask. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. So, uh, currently work as a software engineer out in DC. Um, okay. I have the Washington Monument in my background. Unfortunately, no there's way. A in the way. Wow. Yeah, living at the top floor of some apartment complex. Um, Wait, that sounds bougie. Oh, I'm living. I'm living pretty. So pretty. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're coworkers. Me and Kev. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's go. On different coasts. Yeah, Wait, really? Coast. Same company? Same company. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, there is a small contingent of Survivor players at Amazon. But uh -huh. yeah. It's a um, little, little alliance. Little alliance. <laughs> yeah, no, Amazon true. alliance. Watch out for All Stars 3, Amazon All alliance. All Stars 3, <laughs> Amazon alliance. <laughs> but no, it's funny. Like, I, I feel like I've, I've heard, like, a lot of people, like, watch, like, survivor michigan they're like well like what, what what's kevin like in real life like kevin seems like such a chaotic like such a like villain like for like, what's he like what's he like as a person it's like no like kevin's a really nice guy and, and like he's very <laughs> just normal nice guy in real life like it's i feel like it's very clear to people that know you in real life that this is all a character and like you're playing a character you're doing this for fun but it's just like funny because it's like it's it's like it, it's such a it's such a memorable character seeing it on screen <laughs> But it's obviously like not how you you function in real life and, and act around people. Um, well, I mean, it's, the same humor is there, but you're not like you're not actually stabbing your friends in the back. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, it's, yeah. it's all it's all a bit. It's, it's hilarious. And I, I feel like fans recognize that, and that's why they love you as a character. And I feel like a lot of time people try to play up a character, and then it kind of like falls flat a little bit. Like you can tell yeah. when somebody's like trying. Like even me, I feel like I would try to like have the really cool, edgy confessionals, and they would just <laughs> not work as well. Like for you, I feel like from day one, like Kevin or whatever, the char Kevin character. You committed. Just was a they are plus. Kevin. Yeah, yeah, like you, that is. Uh, it like looks like that's who you are, even if it's not, or what some commoderation of who you are. I don't know. <laughs> it's a villain. Yeah. Cavillion, Chaos Kevin. Cavillion. There's, yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot thrown out there for whatever you can do with my name. So, Wait, do you want to talk about how you, you said you had some story about your character? Oh, yeah. So, okay. This, this is a fun one. Ian doesn't even know about this. Um, oh, great. Yeah. Whoa. So, insider info. This is so, some big insider info. Yeah. I believe like a few of us like saw like the pre-released version of All Stars and there was an alternate bonus scene episode. Uh, or intro sequence, right? And um, the song, as well as like the bit of it, is like me going back and forth of a uh, good ass intro by Chance the Rapper, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like the beginning of it goes like even better than I was the last time, baby. I'm good. And so, um, like, it's uh, I listened to that a bunch and high school and I thought it was okay what a perfect intro sequence um but then I kind of made it like my whole like hype up song going into every challenge every um not confessional but every tribal council and mm -hmm. so you know I keep on listening to this and listening to this and um what happens is like I start catching on to lyrics and it's like this is like a little bit of a definition or a parallel to my game like I even wrote like some of the ones that I had back in the day which was um you know, the intro, like, first line of, like, we're back and I'm good, meaning that, like, you know, same old Kevin, something like that. <laughs> I'm going to be continuing the character. Um, another line there is balancing on sporadicity and fucking pure joy. You know, I wanted wow. to really be, you know, let's play the game out, have fun, just make sure you go wild is how I wanted that. Um, I saw on the Discord because I lurk it. Um, somebody <laughs> caught on to this like lyric was uh, cremate your teammates and freebase the ashes. Mm. Oh, <laughs> and so um, that one is, you know, I'm definitely going to take advantage of my allies. I'm going to smoke mm -hmm. on the remains. Um, <laughs> and, you know, that is incredible. Yeah. And so um, the other part of that is like, you know, you see me in the episode. Um, 
you can even consider like the album is about like drugs and a little bit of a chance the rapper's like intro to you know his rap career uh, the one that like really brought him out to the world and so i was like you know maybe i'll like think of like the character for me is like being the under influence of absolute chaos and <laughs> bloodshed so um wow very that's, thought through that's, i that's love that cool. song <laughs> it's a good song yeah. And the yeah. fact that you got to intro, like, I think your first confessional was with that song, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's very fitting. That's incredible. Like, having a literal, like, <laughs> planning, like, a character, like, planned after, like, a song <laughs> is so great. Like, I didn't realize that is just so great. Well, yeah, that's what it came out to be. It didn't start yeah. off with that. That's for sure. Because I, I just really saw the it. opportunity and you're like, hmm, like, this actually fits really well. Uh huh. Yeah. I was like, all right, we're committing to the bit. Oh. <laughs> And, and when you have to commit to the bit on a show like this, it's like a whole semester. It's so. hard. I mean, I broke character a few times. I think <laughs> it happened twice in the Pong episode where, you know, there was like uh, when I win the Fear Pong challenge for the tribe, you know, on the last cup and saying, you know, look off to the side and say like, Fred Sarkev, <laughs> <laughs> make the bucket. And then I just go like crazy again, right? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. You flip the table. I did flip a table. Uh, yeah. So like, do I don't know if people like in Survivor know. I think a few people do, but it's because I thought I lost the challenge. Oh, <laughs> so it wasn't because you were happy. <laughs> no, no. It's be I was. I was because I was sad, and then like yeah. the emotions just kind of took over, and I would just so, like flip the table time. <laughs> well, right. It's because like your tribe, because you heard all like the people cheering in the room, but you hadn't even come back. It was because Bree was like guessing and checking and happened to get it right you're like oh there's no way we just won mm -hmm. yeah no i didn't play. i was defeated walking into that classroom and came out with uh i don't know if that's where i got the idol clue i think it, i think it, I think was. it was yeah mm -hmm. yeah where it was like in the it was in like the idol right like yeah the, 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 foot. the gnome foot yep so that was the clue that to the pringle idol yep and i didn't look there I didn't look there early enough. So I think I was too focused on the North Campus Idol. Um, mm. I was really invested in that one. And then when I realized the Library Idol was, uh, you know, you have to go look under people's seats. Uh, I don't know. I didn't want to be a creep like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I remember that. Like, because, like, we knew it was under a chair, but, like, I, I was like, is it underneath like one of those chairs people are sitting at at tables? Like, how am I supposed to go right. underneath? Mm -hmm. They're out? like, what are you doing? It ended up being up under like one of the sofas near like the doors that like no one was sitting on. But like, <laughs> I, I didn't know that. It was like, oh, we gotta, yeah, crawl underneath tables when people are, when people are studying and like look underneath. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's why I like uh, by I think episode three, I had um, all the idle clues, at least uh, looking at this document that i have like i listed out the each manifesto. one mm. yeah the manifesto um, yeah and so yeah i mean I, I had pretty much like everything i needed except probably the north campus one because that was on an off beaten path that i didn't look at um so who knows i mean i also could have gotten the apollo idol <laughs> <laughs> wait what was your plan for that what were you gonna say for the oh well, because well, your 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 baking didn't work right my baking didn't work no yeah oh so you mm -hmm. never got the yeah. i thought it worked for some reason okay. no so what happened is i did check out the book because you know i was trying to i didn't tell production i did this also you know because <laughs> <laughs> it was like you, nobody ever said you couldn't move the book out of the library um <laughs> if it wasn't you know normal or That's i don't know what my, it's not permission yeah there right. it is yeah. And so, um, you know, I do basically what uh, Nick and um, Adam do, right? And except my, what I read online was like, what was even better than like rubbing it, a bunch of nail polish was putting it in the oven. <laughs> in my so I think like 400 degrees, I put it in there for 30 minutes. Nothing burned actually. Um, and yeah, I'm surprised. It, it worked for four letters, you know. Um, right. But because they drew over it again after they, uh, you know, cleaned it up. Yeah. So, they probably messed up the papers so much. Oh, it was bad. There was no saving that. <laughs> Man, I bet it would have worked if they hadn't figured that out. 
and like you know scratch it out and mm-hmm. like if they hadn't like messed with it and scratched it out a second time like it probably would have worked it probably would have i don't know but mm. yeah like everyone else that night uh i gave up <laughs> <laughs> i mean i, I gave up very quickly i as soon as i saw that it was scratched out i was like all right well i i guess i don't have this idol like tough yeah so i'm sad they didn't put a or did they put another one into circulation i don't know i was already voted out so yeah not this week not this week so a question i have a question i've always had regarding the week that will went home was i mean that week a lot of what you were saying was like i really don't want megan to go home um Mm -hmm. and like maybe and you're like yeah maybe this this will vote you know prevents megan from going home i kind of have this potential alliance with megan and jackson and aaron I was wondering, like, had you ever considered, like, you know, maybe I can vote off Andrew, keep both Megan and Will in the game? And I know that that was, like, one of the plans you and Will discussed. Like, you know, did you ever seriously consider voting off Andrew? And, like, if, they, you know, if not, like, why why Will over Andrew? No, that's, that's like, the reasonable one, right? <laughs> I think, no, that was, that was, like, obvious to me, like, at the forefront. I even, that's why I tell it to Andrew right to his face. Like, hey, yeah. you know, um, well, you're going out. <laughs> um, yep. That's a good question. I don't, I think I, I caught myself, right, uh, in the grand scheme of things while all my mind was racing of, you know, I guess it has to be Will. And also like, you know, utter betrayal, right? I think yeah. that overwhelmed any position for me to like reconsider going back to putting the vote on Andrew. And plus, like, you know, if I'm telling, like, Yellow, you know, I'm in the middle and Red's going to hear about it, you know. Mm. And there's a slew of things that could go wrong. If I if I kept my mouth shut that week, you know, it would have been... It would have been a good week, I think. Um, the the will, the Andrew vote didn't fit with the song, is the thing. It didn't yeah. fit with a chance yeah. to happen. All right. There wasn't no lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, uh, like, even going back to, you know, it being a college survivor, right? I'm seeing this as, like, a, like a fun opportunity. And, you know, I, th- like, um, you know, going out to game days and, like, seeing Crouch and Cooper, you know, I was having a blast. And it was like, you know, I'll have a m- much more fun time playing this game with them than, you know, um, Leia, Emily, and Will. Like, if you talk to people, like, from that tribe, you know, we barely did, like, anything together because we never had to, right? We all just, like, met maybe once a week at best until we yeah. swapped tribes. So there was no either, like, relationship or, like, test, nor, you know, the desire to, you know, like, want to, you know, spend a close time with your tribe, right? So mm-hmm. um, probably, like, looking back on it, like, I definitely probably maybe had, like, a little bit of a jealousy factor on, like, you know, seeing the other tribes. Like, go to tribal, have fun, you know, doing stuff. Oh, Pani was was having a blast. Oh, you guys were killing. We all loved hanging out mm-hmm. with each other so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I it did seem like saying that Sangria tribe was didn't really seem too like tight. Like especially winning all those challenges, you weren't like you didn't have really a reason to like, you know, like be meeting up all the time. Yeah, and like even then, you know, I played it in my head, right? Like I thought about like you know what can I do to save Jackson, but. If that vote ever came to be, you know, it's him for sure. There's really no way or ability to save him because um, it's, you know, the similar vein of Akshay being, you know, the name people threw out like since week one. And after that, I'm thinking in my head, aren't I the obvious like chopping block next? You know, I don't think, uh, you know, just me and Will are kind of like very desirable to vote out um, on that tribe. <laughs> um with our histories and all that so i did not like where i was put on my tribe i thought it was going to be a villain's tribe and then it didn't turn out that <laughs> turn it out so that's fine yeah um oh. do we want to talk about like this episode more or like past votes i don't know uh i think Enough's been said for the will vote. We can yeah. touch on the the bears versus flies. Oh yeah. Yes. Wait, yeah. was that your analogy? Yeah. Um, oh my god. I th- yeah. I think 
Adam came up with the bears okay. instead of lions or something like that. And then I threw the word flies out. And so, um, cause I filmed the confessional with Chloe right after, you know, talking with Adam. Um, it's, uh, that's why, you know, it's like the whole, like it's the bears versus the flies type of, uh, moment. And yeah, I thought that was going to be the, like, you know, how I put a high school musical into the show. It started something new with like, a relationship <laughs> with Adam. Cause, uh, I know we were pretty back and forth with each other on the whole, you know, it seems pretty obvious where people's places are. Um, and, um, the audience can, you know, say whether or not that's the reality or, you know, my craziness, um, and all the pairings, right. But all the bears and all the flies, um, was just how we saw, you know, the game was shaping up and, um, I don't know, Adam and I both were kind of not aggravated, uh, but you know, we kind of desired like more people to like put their for forward and, you know, mm -hmm. spice up the game a little bit, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's why, that's why we do the whole like double idol play, um, or, you know, if they were both there just oh. because, you know, it was so great. Oh. I, I, I was so sad when I heard, cause like, I, I really wanted that to work. I really mm -hmm. wanted that to work. That would have been so, that would have been such a crazy move. Two idols played on two people, to like cancel all the votes. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Oh, God. Because, uh, yeah, it was definitely Jesse and Cooper if that was the case. Yeah. I mean, this episode, I didn't realize the like, whole grand scheme of things of like Adam giving me a fake idol that I give to Jackson and then somehow Megan figuring that out. Because, mm -hmm. like, obviously you wouldn't think that, right? Um, I, if I was in Adam's shoes and I invited like Megan over to chat that night, right? Um, I wouldn't even to like give two thoughts about, you know, her recognizing like the fake idols I'm hanging up in my like board. Right. Yeah. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't really fault Adam on that. And I was like, yeah, you know, we'll just have to go with that. Um, I thought it was a damn good fake idol personally. It, it probably would have been if she didn't recognize it. Like, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I wonder what happens if like, let's say like Megan had not recognized that fake idol. Like, how does like the chain of events change at that point where Jackson thinks the idol is real? Like, does he vote for Cooper? And like, does, you know, that changes a lot of things. Now, like suddenly is like Lucy not voted off. Like what happens at the merge? Like, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of things change coming from that moment. It's such a big inflection point. I feel like on this season. And such oh. a like ridiculous thing too. Like, oh, because like Megan saw like a necklace hanging, <laughs> like hanging in yeah. Adam's room. And it's like, oh, like that is, that looks like it could be an idol. You know, like, Oh god, that was just brutal to see. Just everything not working out. And that's how usually my plans go in the game, but at least it's a uh, good television. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this one because it was 99% of the way there, just like the smallest little thing to throw it off. Like this plan is so crazy and it almost worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cuz mm -hmm. like I think um this was like probably the craziest thing I comprehended and somehow like Bailey spinned it even to something more insane but the axis of evil right <laughs> <laughs> you know of uh, this like um non-existent alliance between aaron megan jackson and i you know i just kind of threw out those names to her of just like these are the people i trust and then she was like kevin's got allies and you know mm -hmm. you know guilt by association um i think you can say that about like a lot of the times i play survivor michigan but like you know the people who get who associate with me in some capacity you don't usually have the best ending yeah. Um, and I don't know, we'll see with this season how it's going to work out, right? But yeah, to get back onto that, it's just, um, it was crazy for me not to like, you know, shit on Bailey for this. Um, but, you know, I think I was already like a dog on the leash and just, I've already given myself up to like whatever she wants me to be in this game. Because um, I just kind of just rambled there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, to get back onto point, the axis of evil, we didn't even have a group chat. I think that's pretty obvious. I don't even, I was looking through my content. I was like, when did this ever come about? So, um, yeah, just kind of doomed Aaron's game and a little bit of Jackson's because of that. So work, work in my way, breaking people's hearts inadvertently this time <laughs> around. I mean, yeah, one of the questions I, I have on, on that topic is, uh, so with that like alliance that the axis of evil thing that like you know ends up really sketching out like nick and sarah kind of contributes to their decision to vote off aaron 
Um, so I feel like I think that Bailey, like at some point, says she has like proof of that alliance, or you said you have proof. Like, what exactly like went into like how did that come to be? Like, did you basically just like what did you tell Bailey? Lies. <laughs> I think that's the reality. I mean, because I think I was just like throwing out information to get her to like start trusting me again, right? Because mm. um, you know, first conversation of the season, I'm basically you know laying out everything for her, right? Take me in. Um, I know my time in this game is limited. Um, that's how I saw it, at least in the pre-merge. Um, so um, I'll be a number for you, and I'll bring good content on the way. Um, and you know, I even say it in uh, tonight's episode. Like, if there was one person I would have never crossed, probably. Uh, would have been Bailey, because um, I thought that was both like you know that was like a true you know good outside of the game relationship, and I think um, it was a good antithesis to like the Chaos Kevin analogy, right? She actually has someone he trusts. Um, right. I just went about it. Nah, I went about it a wrong way. <laughs> it does seem like Bailey really had a hard time voting you up. Like she really did yeah. not want to do that. No, she didn't. I don't think. Yeah. Because I think it's like what happened when like Cooper in the middle of the episode says, it's like, yeah, it probably should be Kevin. Nobody really cares. Right. Um, and like, she's the only one that does. And probably at this point outside of Will, you know, I spent, you know, I mean, Will was actually more of like a producer relationship, but uh, Bailey, you know, we, we hung out a lot during and after like season two and then here and there uh, once after. So um i guess why like it, it would be hard like if i was in bailey's shoes to like you know do the same um i just thought you know the character had to come out a little bit and be dramatic <laughs> do you want to ask some discord questions jack see i feel like uh there aren't a ton yeah i feel like people are fighting about different things they haven't been sending me <laughs> yeah what is the discord questions. saying what is having you lurk too right yeah, I, I haven't been paying attention tonight. Um, been, after they've, the, what's they're like mostly the talking about Maryland right now, so I don't know. Why? Well, was, speaking of Maryland, I actually somebody DM'd me a question that has to do with Maryland, and it, it's, a, it's a perfect transition perfect. for it. So I got a DM from Ryan that says, if you have a chance, can you ask Kevin about how Survivor Maryland All-Stars impacted the way that you tried to play the season? Interesting. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, because... Like to even give like some historical context, I think uh, before I got into real Survivor, I actually got into Survivor Maryland, um, and that's how Bailey and I's relationship started in season two. Is because we both watched seasons there. Um, I think I didn't really use it though as um, how to play like the collegiate Survivor game. Um, I was just more enthralled about you know, holy shit, college kids, right? This is what uh, college kids do, and and I yeah. thought it was fantastic. Um, so, like looking back onto like um, Survivor Maryland, and it's been years since I've seen another season of that. I think what really shaped it out to me was, um, you know, like the characters of like Chris LeCompte and like Chris T, and then um, even Shubal a little bit. Yeah, Shubal and All Stars were, and Holly were these like larger than life characters and they brought like a lot of their, you know, personality onto the screen. And if anything, the strategy from a, like a college all-stars wasn't really there. It was more so like, um, you know, how to do the confessionals, how to bring life into, you know, who I am as let's say a survivor, Michigan survivor player. So, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So I got you like, uh, got you excited about college survivor in general and like, just being a character. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I just wanted to, I think, like, if anything, people who, like, watch the season, like, you know, just mention me offhandedly, you know, there's a lot of people in, like, Discord who are, like, like you know, like, super strategic type of peoples, so I was hoping to, like, to bring out, you know, someone who, you know, can think about, like, and might have decent reads, but, you know, is absolutely untrustful, see how they can play it out if they can even survive in this environment. And uh, I think you put it best in like one of your confessionals. So there's a lot of luck in this game and there are cards you're dealt and the cards, you know, that was dealt to me in this game was only going to one tribal pre-merge. So um, I'm one of those that, 
you know, doesn't deserve to make the merge. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can say that. that. True. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to say like this episode. I felt like you had a. It was a really good strat. I thought it was a really good strategy in the way that like you use those screenshots between me and Megan to try and get Emily and Bailey to flip and vote me off. Like mm -hmm. it seems like Emily got like very con like basically instantly you got her convinced. Like both on that and also on the fact that like you're basically telling her like Emily like you need to do something if you want to win. Like you need to make a move. And Emily basically is like completely on board with this and it's really Bailey that's like maybe more on the fence with flipping a second time. But I thought that that was like really good strategy and it was very close to flipping the vote and getting me voted off. But then you happened. <laughs> then um, I, yeah, yeah. I got Bailey to, to not believe them, but yeah. No, I think there was like a lot, like uh, like for making it this far. I thought there was like a lot of opportunity for me to stay, just due to like the nature of you know seeing other seasons, right? You know, there's no way I'm gonna win. I am absolutely chaotic. I didn't realize you know the capacity at which like people put the level of trust in the game. Um, versus you know seeing me as a resource to use and win at final tribal council because that's how like i saw it was like use me and you know you'll make it far um and basically yeah i just wanted someone to pick me up and like bring me along onto their ride um i just didn't really do a good job about that <laughs> and at that point you know the will vote somehow like took a storm of its own especially after you brought it back up at that first tribal of the merge and then people yeah. nobody could get it out of their heads which was um no. crazy um from my perspective i thought with everything else going on in the season you know um i didn't think that would be like the basis of like pretty much everything yeah. uh, which was a mistake on my read because i thought uh you know people would have bigger plans than play with their friends <laughs> it was a big moment but to be fair too like i think i brought up in the episode like i really I really didn't care that much about the will thing anymore. Like I really like at that trouble council was a big performance that me and Adam had to like <laughs> make Nick and Sarah and Andrew and them believe like, Oh, like we're on the bottom. We're trying to get Kevin out. And like, mm -hmm. obviously that wasn't really our plan anymore, but um, I mean, it's still even, even Leia, I think brings it up at this episode. Like it was, it was a big moment. It was a really pivotal, big moment in the game that people talked about like for, you know, weeks after it happens. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't ready for it being talked weeks, you know, for however long it went. Because, like, from my perspective, <laughs> it was like, I didn't think of it, like, as the craziest thing. But, you know, people put that association of, you know, a lot of people came into this game with pairs. And mine was definitely Will. And I decided to cut him um, for the reasons, you know, I thought was a good idea. Um, but mostly for the character. And so, yeah, I was just... Uh, that was unexpected. And then also like the whole like idol thing that like people were grilling me about thinking that I had an idol in my pocket. <laughs> Brutal. I feel like it's just cause like in your first season you had one, like this happens to so many people where like in their first season something mm -hmm. happened and it just follows them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm cause like uh, people heard about me having these idol clues cause Aaron, I told Aaron and then eventually told Bailey, I think. And so, you know, it really made a lot of sense that, like, I would be the one holding on to the idol. And obviously, like, Emily B would keep it secret and Crouch kind of kept his secret. I think he told Cooper, maybe? I don't know. Um, but I think uh, there was a discussion about this um, in our group chat for the spoilers chat. And, uh, like, Andrew, like, pointed out, well, you know, I'm an easy scapegoat for that exact scenario, right? I found one in season two. I have all the idol clues. Really makes sense for me to have it and then eventually play it. Um, so can't fault him on that. Um, but that definitely didn't help my case. People want to vote the person out with an idol and yeah. send them home with it, so. And you can, like, can't prove the negative. Like, it's literally impossible like, to be like, I don't have it. Like, I, I just don't, you know? And, yeah, I mean, like, even like- it's So frustrating. Adam doesn't believe me when I say I don't have it, um, mm -hmm. other than the people that have the idols or the idol, so. <sighs> regrets <laughs> <laughs> now one thing i also want to hear more about is kind of i talked about in this episode and a little bit i kind of also like in the bears and flies kind of thing you brought up with like um the leia's list in like oh, the friends God. alliance and <laughs> it's a big theme that's kind of been talked about the last few weeks and i think that you're probably the number one person like pushing this narrative 
And I'm really curious, like, you know, what are your thoughts on that and, and how it's impacted the game? That's a good question. Uh, I think it just, like, first, when I heard about this list, I, I couldn't believe it because um, it doesn't make sense in the realm of Survivor, but um, Leia's a different coin. <laughs> um, so, you know, I was hoping that for the people, like, on the bottom to, like, realize, you know, for people in, like, Cooper's position or Bailey's position, like, they like this list, right? But you're not on it. And you're working with a person on the list while you're not on the list. And so I thought, you know, at least that's ample opportunity for other people to realize, you know, hey, you know, if this thing goes far, um, even if it seems absolutely crazy, it, even if it's crazy and people believe it and they like the idea that they're on the list, you know, they're not going to complain about it. Um, and I think people really trusted, you know, their close allies that, you know, they'll help them persist through this list. And, you know, we'll see if that's going to be the case. Um, but with like my whole endeavor and like complaining about like the whole friendship survivor um, at the time, you know, I think that just really grinded my gears <laughs> at, at the end of the day, because um, I want to see like people like pulling out the works to commit to a blind side, right? Mm -hmm. Get out a really like strong strategic threat. Um, but the thing about Michigan, right, is everyone's a main character. Everyone thinks that they got a shot at the end of the road. Um, so I don't know. I don't like the list. I don't like the list. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. You heard it here first. Kevin Manifesto uh, over uh, the, the Leia thesis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. What if I just drop this manifesto into the discord? And yes. I might do that. Get that infinity so upvotes. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, like the manifesto ends um, the week, uh, the, the double tribal. Um, Cause I think at that point, um, once I heard I made the merge, I kind of, you know, took the reins off the horse of the character a little bit. Um, hmm. Not in the confessionals, but I mean, you see it in that first merge vote, right? I don't try to do anything. Like, I just have to, like, even if I wanted to do something, it wouldn't be a good case because, like, if I do the chaotic whole thing, like, I'm obviously going to be the first boot. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, I just have to sit back and, like, trust, you know, what Bailey was, like, uh, having, uh, giving me the opportunity for. And, you know, All I right. thought it was valid because, you know, I was a part of their tribe when we voted out Will. And I thought, you know, I had a good relationship with Bailey, a decent yeah. one with Crouch, and a cordial one with Cooper. Um, even after I like um, told him about how I wanted to get him out, right? <laughs> it seemed like Cooper like got over it pretty quickly. Like, like in that conversation, mm -hmm. that one episode, he's like, "Oh yeah, like whatever. The game changes. Pretty yeah. cool." He won't work with me, but it's not like he has a, a path towards voting me out. Unlike your list right <laughs> i mean cooper i think he did it sounded, seemed kind of like he did prefer to work with that original alliance but it's like that's not what emily and bailey wanted to do because they were so paranoid about nick and sarah flipping on them yeah i'm still trying to think what's my take on the whole thing because the whole like switch of bailey might have been in the back of her head but it wasn't until adam you know came in front of her and told her and spooked her right about mm -hmm here's the here's the deal right you know they they've been talking about this adam doing his you know fear mongering and at least at the time bailey was you know probably going to be susceptible to that um because i mean nothing wrong with emotional player i like emotional players <laughs> um yeah. but it definitely didn't help my case um yeah that, that was like there's there's a lot of um mistakes and, and i think the biggest one for me um going into Survivor Michigan was uh, not valuing like intensely like solidified relationships, obviously, right? Because um, I didn't really put in the work uh, in like, let's say, Jackson, right? I'm trying to convince Jackson to vote for Cooper with a real idol. And, you know, he says it to himself, I have want nothing to do with Kevin. Um, and, you know, I only met with him like once um, before we swapped tribes. And I didn't talk to him again until, you know, he called me and asked me, hey, do you have an idol? And I told him no. And then eventually told him maybe I do, <laughs> um, but if that if you only have like two or three interactions with the guy, you know, is that an equality like investor relationship? No. 
if I work with Adam for only one time, right, um, in trying to get Cooper out, and then after that, you know, nothing comes about it, then, you know, he doesn't value me, um, even if I might think I tried to value him. Uh, just because I, I didn't have the right read on, like, um, the level of rela relationships I needed. Because um, you can obviously be a villain and have, like, quality relationships. It would make the breakup and the blind side a lot more meaningful, if only I knew that at the time. Oh, that's true. You see, that's, that's the big mistake. If you had more relationships, you could have mm -hmm. broken more hearts. Exactly. You could get the number higher. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to be the main character for a few episodes, to then uh, getting string along and then making a big move at the end. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything yeah. else, really? Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't believe I voted for Bailey at the end. I was, yeah. oh yeah, my, my oh, riff, yeah. the riff so of you, tribal council, right? You forgot she had immunity, right? Or was it just for the meme? I don't know. I can't say. <laughs> you honestly can't say. I honestly can't. I at the time watching the episode actually did forget because it was so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, well, I was, I was, I was tipsy a little bit, right? I, I got my little solo cup going off and I knew going into that tribal I and I was dead for water. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why I'm wearing the suit and all that. And so I just thought oh, yeah. I'd just riff, right? There ha I don't think we had like a quality live like tribal and I have nothing to lose. I'm getting voted out, right? Yeah. I think the scariest thing for me was like seeing the Megan votes because I was like, there's no way they didn't vote for me this week because I was like, well, I want to see like Megan go far. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather her go far than like me getting stuck in, you know, just kind of existing. And that's the one thing I didn't want to do, exist. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, though, because I think that most of the majority alliance did think you had an idol. So they were like, oh, like, all right, like Kevin will probably just play the idol and like Megan will go home. Like, it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, and that, I mean, I guess, you know, Emily thinks that she has the idol and therefore she thinks like, oh, Kevin definitely doesn't have it. But, you know, I, I def definitely a, a decent amount of us had suspicion that like you definitely did have it. Because it's like, who else could have it at this point? Like, it still hasn't been played. Yeah, because we're, uh, we're not used to, like, people keeping the idol secret, as well as um, yeah. Crouch and Emily VR, right? You know, they, mm -hmm. they had a tight, loose uh, zipper on their uh, mouth. And, you know, people will mingle. It's Kevin, right? He's uh, he's definitely got something under his sleeves. Um, even the fake idol, like, uh, not the fake vote steal, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think uh, what made it like a better edit, right, was, uh, you know, me thinking it was like true. And I think I did for a little bit, but then, you know, it grew on me with especially the whole uh, Lucy getting voted out. I was like, eh, that's probably not valid. That's why I don't even try and use it at the tribal council, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, I didn't have any more questions. I feel like you were very thorough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't come into this with a plan, but if there's anything I know, like doing confessionals, I know how to ramble and get my point across. Yeah. I just, uh, I think if anything, um, a lot of the times when I did confessionals, there's a lot of mean ones out there too. Um, I thought I was back in my Call of Duty lobbies, you know, riffing on people, <laughs> and that's like the perspective I took on it. Yeah. Um, hope people don't actually think that's who the person I am, but you know, let people make their own decisions. Um, I don't really have too much regrets. I had a blast watching this. I think this season's edited well. I think I have too much screen time, but people love it. So <laughs> no, we can't get enough. <laughs> um, and you know, I'm grateful for Ian. Uh, I think. Uh, he saw what I was trying to bring onto the screen and, you know, he, he did a good job with it. I'll never let down a Ben versus Will or Social Losers Survivor. <laughs> so, uh, so the just, episode title. Is I that have, the episode's name? Yeah. Yeah, I had, I, well, I didn't coin Ben versus Will. Or my bad, Ben versus Kevin. Uh, I that think this one is uh, Social Losers Survivor. Isn't that what yeah. it's called? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Social losers, and then I got a, I got a little uh, subsection of the uh, full circle. Full circle. Yeah, yeah. But I think uh, to the people that eventually listen to this, um, I haven't played a Discord in like two years. Welcome to hit me up if you find out my uh, Discord name. 
Oh my God. Uh, too complicated. You can come hit me up. I'll consider, I'm kind of a busy guy. Huh? Um, I know um, when I did All-Stars, um, I actually wasn't like around um, after All-Stars for season six. Uh, I was out doing an internship and then COVID happened, right? So I think that's why, like looking back on it, All-Stars was like a lot of a blur because I didn't have like, you know, the post-game conversations you mm -hmm. would have in a, re in a further season. And yeah. Then, you know, eh. But it was, it was great seeing it again. Uh, I'm learning a lot and I'm excited to see what happens for the rest of the episodes because that's I'm finally going to go into blind on a lot of the strategy going into it. Mm -hmm. uh, excited for that. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited too because I don't remember like anything even though I was in all the group chats. <laughs> Just it's been so long. Yeah. If you no, like Kevin, I thought you went out so much earlier. I don't know why. Oh, no, oh, that makes Kevin's sense. definitely pre-merge. Yeah, I thought you were pre-merge, too. I, I don't know why. <laughs> it's like Kevin making merge just does not make sense. But No, it does not make sense. <laughs> That's what's so beautiful about it. Yeah. 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 I, I will say I've done I've done better <laughs> than uh, any time I've played Survivor Michigan and other orgs I played. I played like two, maybe? Or one was a college mini, and I made it Final Five. Bri was nice. with me that one, so. Damn. Okay. Well, um, and then, obviously... Well, the drinking games, but oh yeah, I don't know, those, are those are fun. So yeah, what I think what's the last thing I say? Okay, to close things out, I guess for you guys, um, yeah. So most I like I somehow bought into myself like starting every confessional that I do was like, hey guys, it's Kevin here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah, so I was like, I don't know how long. It, bye guys, see you never. <laughs> oh well it was a pleasure to have you on yeah, glad I you're thriving you in dc <laughs> yeah. yeah we actually guys... will be seeing you soon you will me and yeah. sam at least mm -hmm. yeah vegas uh, baby i couldn't let that down you guys know or at least i think sam you know i uh i divvy up or i i spend a few bucks here and there oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah same here same here good, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I'll, I'll text you about my Super Bowl winnings. I, I won't put that on the air. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The you got big on the Chiefs. Uh, I was. Uh, I thought Eagles were gonna win it, but then I hedged. So uh... I know, baby. <laughs> nice, nice. I didn't even notice that until now. That's great. Job. I it on backwards. Yeah. I literally just got this in the mail today. Oh hell yeah, yeah bro! That's That's sick oh. Head. Yeah. Cool. Well, it was. Such a it's always such a wild ride seeing you on Survivor. It's I'm sad that the ride is over, but the Survivor All Stars ride is, you know, it's still a roller coaster even without Kevin. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be. I'd fun. say I'd say for the audience, you stay excited. Um, if you think the episodes are long, there's a reason why you still keep coming back. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. So true. Alrighty. Bye. 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 See you, Kevin. Yep.